my fried ribs is gonna have you singing ad libs. <laughs> simple recipe. It's uh, fried lemongrass ribs and today I'm using pork ribs. So uh, right over here I have about one kilograms of pork ribs, okay? And all you're gonna need is real simple. You're gonna need about um, six to seven cloves of garlic, okay? Uh, you're gonna need some lemongrass, fish sauce, some pepper, and some soy sauce. And if you like it spicy, a little bit of chilies, okay? So uh, Let's go ahead and prepare our ribs, okay? So you can buy it in a rack and then cut them up yourself, or you can obviously get them already cut up. But what you wanna do is uh, you wanna actually make sure that you get off the membrane over here, okay? So you're gonna grab a knife and just kind of loosen up the membrane. And... If you're not able to pull off the membrane, uh, don't worry about it. It'll just be a little bit chewier, but um, it won't really impact the taste so much. So uh, you're also going to need a lot of garlic, okay? So I'm going to just mash this up right here. Okay, so now that it's all mashed up, I'm just gonna put that right in. And we're gonna dump in our lemongrass. fish sauce, soy sauce, and lots of pepper. Okay, and then you want to grab a pair of gloves or use your hands <laughs> and then just uh, give that a good marinade. Now if you're using your hands, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly because the pepper is very, very spicy. And then we'll let this marinate in the fridge for um, roughly about an hour or so. It doesn't take too long. And then once it's done marinating, I'll show you what to do next. So it's been about an hour and I'm going to start frying these. Uh, so you do want quite a bit of oil. Uh, you're not trying to deep fry them, but you do want to be able to submerge it a little bit. So I would say maybe about that much, okay? Okay, so when you see that the oil starts to bubble like this, you know it's ready. Okay, so let's start frying. And you might want to wear a long sleeve shirt, okay? But for the sake of this video and vanity, I'm wearing a short sleeve. <laughs> okay, so let's go.
Okay guys, that's it. So um, if your cut of ribs is a little bit thicker, just throw it in the toaster oven to finish cooking off. Um, if they're thinner, then I think it should be fine. But since mine's were a little bit thicker, so I just threw it in the toaster oven just to ensure that it is cooked. But the color should definitely look like this, okay? It looks a little bit burnt, but believe me, it is not. It is absolutely perfect. Okay, and so let's try it with a little bit of dipping sauce. Now let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good, so juicy. Mm. Makes me want to do ad libs right now, but I won't. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.